Crypto taxes can be overwhelming. Tracking every trade, calculating capital gains, and making sure that you're compliant. But what if you could automate the entire process in minutes? In this video, I'll show you how to use Queen Ledger, a beginner friendly crypto tax tool that makes tax reporting fast, easy, and stress free. Whether or not you're a trader, investor, or even using DeFi, this tutorial will walk you through everything that you need to know. And in this step by step guide, I'm going to show you how to set up your Coin Ledger account, how to import your transactions from different exchanges and wallets, how to generate your tax report. Then we're going to discuss how to export and follow your report with tax software or an accountant. So let's get started. Coin Ledger is a US based crypto tax software designed to help traders and investors easily track and report their crypto transactions for tax purposes. Instead of manually calculating your gains, losses and taxable income, Coin Ledger automates the process by syncing with your exchanges and wallets, categorizing your transactions and generating tax reports that you can file with the IRS, HMRC and other tax authorities. Now before we sign up, it's important to understand how Coin Ledger's pricing works. And you can get started completely free. You just sign up, import your transactions and you can preview your tax summary without paying anything. You'll only need to pay when you're ready to generate and download your tax report, and the cost will depend on the number of transactions that you need to include. Unlike subscription-based models, Coin Ledger works on a one-time purchase basis, so there's no recurring fees, you just pay for the reports when you need them. Plus, if you use our referral link in the video description, you're going to get 10% off your purchases. So setting up a Coin Ledger account is quick and easy. To get started, Use the sign up link in the video description and that's going to ensure that you get the 10% discount. You'll then reach the sign up page. From there, you enter in your email address and your password, or you can sign up using Google or Coinbase. If this is the first time that you're logging in, it's going to take you through some account setup prompts, including setting up your country and currency so they can set out the tax rules for your reports, then what you're using CoinLedger for which we'll put is primarily as a tax calculator. Then how we want to complete them, and we can either do this ourselves, or you can also work one-to-one -one with one of their experts that they can supply. Next, we need to select the platforms that we've used, and you don't have to add them all now, as I'm going to show you how to add more to this later. Finally, check your inbox for a verification code and click on the link to confirm your account. Once you're logged in, you're then going to reach the CoinLedger dashboard where you can start importing your transactions and managing your tax data. This is all set up as steps at the top of the page for import to transactions and finally reports. And there's also a portfolio tab here too. So currently we're on the import section and this is where the software does the heavy lifting, automatically pulling in all your trade history, staking rewards and other taxable events so that you don't have to manually enter in every transaction. On the left hand side of the page is the list of the accounts or the platforms that we selected a moment ago, which are not connected as it stands. And if we want to add more to this list, we can use the add account button from the bottom of the screen. And Coin Ledger supports a wide range of exchanges, wallets and blockchains, making it easy to sync all your data. It's important to link as much as you can here, otherwise you can end up paying more than you need to in tax. For example, if there's a withdrawal from an exchange and they can't see that going to a wallet, it might be categorised as sale, or if there's a deposit, it may look like a purchase, rather than sending from a wallet to an exchange. So you really need to add as many accounts here as possible just to avoid overpaying. And there's two main ways that you can import transactions. Automatic API integration or a manual CSV file upload, which is a much longer way of doing things. The fastest and easiest ways to import your transactions is by connecting your exchange or your wallet directly using API integration. I'm going to start with Coinbase and choose Connect API. Or you can also choose Auto Import from the center of the screen. This allows CoinLedger to securely fetch your trade or your transaction history in just a few clicks. But just be aware that this is only read-only access and no other access is given to your account like the ability to withdraw from it. And each platform or wallet that you choose has its own guide that you can follow as well as some YouTube videos. And you can choose to import only through specific time periods. Coinbase is slightly different as you have the ability to log in and automatically link your APIs. So when you choose to sync transactions, 
you're going to be prompted to log into Coinbase. Then tick the boxes and allow CoinLedger to access Coinbase. And as I said, it's only read-only access, so your funds remain secure. Then, once you're connected, CoinLedger will automatically pull in your transaction data and categorise it for tax reporting. Now, this can take some time. As it states here, it can take up to 15 minutes. And this is all dependent on the number of transactions that you've made. I've had this account since 2017, so I do expect it to take some time. Once your transactions are imported, we can view an import overview by clicking on the pop-up in the bottom right. This will then categorise all your transactions by incoming, outgoing trades and uncategorised, which is when they can't automatically categorise them for you. So you're going to need to go through these and do that job manually. When I click on there, it then gives me a list of transactions and at the top there's a warning that I'm missing cost basis, which are currently inflating my net capital gains. This means that for these transactions, CoinLedger assumes a cost basis of £0 for tax reporting purposes. But you can reduce your gains by fixing this or you can ignore it and submit your tax reports with the £0 cost basis. You can then go through your transactions and when I click the three vertical dots here, I can edit, add notes, ignore or delete them. You then want to go through and take a look at any that they want you to review, which again you can edit or you can mark them as non-taxable if that's the case. If we go back to import from the top of the screen, you can also filter these through the results by year if you wish. Next, let's take a look at how to sync using API keys rather than a login. So we'll go through and add an account. And this time we're going to select Kraken as I've got some transactions on their exchange. Again, we have the option of browsing for an existing transaction file, auto or manual import. As I said, this time we're going to auto import using an API connection. So let's click on that button. This time they want the API key and the API secret. Whenever you're not too sure how to use these, you can obviously follow the import guides that's associated to this account. For Kraken, they explain this step by step, which involves logging into Kraken Pro, going into your settings, then API keys and generating an API key, ticking some boxes that allows access. And from there, you can copy and paste in your two keys that requested for within CoinLedger. You'll then need to go through the transactions and categorize any that are missing a cost basis again. And you can filter the results from the right hand side of the screen by different accounts. Something I didn't show you earlier is the ability to troubleshoot those that are missing cost basis. And it provides some data here as well as the potential impact. And there's a page helping you to troubleshoot any issues. If we head back to import now, if you've added an account but you no longer need it on the left hand side of the screen, you can click on the three horizontal dots and choose to delete, or you can also edit the name from here. Next, I'm going to show you how to add a wallet, and we're going to take a look at Ledger. So we'll select that from the left hand side of the screen. But if you haven't already got this added, you can use the add account button from the bottom of the page. Then connect wallet. It'll then ask you to select a blockchain and provide the wallet addresses. Ethereum is automatically selected for us, and this includes all ERC20 tokens. All you need to do here is just add your public wallet address. As this is with Ledger, we get this all from within Ledger Live, which manages your Ledger. So we'll head across there now. And if you have more than one account, you need to choose the one that you want to export transactions for. And you can add more than one account address into Ledger too. Then choose to receive and copy your address. Then head back to Coin Ledger and paste that in. And it's pretty clever as it's now found activity on other blockchains for this address as well. And it asks you if you want to add these two. And you can choose not now or agree. Coin Ledger will then start syncing those transactions. And once they're synced, you can then go through and check all the transactions. Now, if you wanted to sync transactions with Bitcoin that I held in my ledger, it's a little trickier to do. For example, if I add another Ledger account and connect wallet, you can choose Bitcoin from the drop down and enter an address. However, Bitcoin does work slightly differently because every time you transfer Bitcoin into a wallet, it generates a new unique Bitcoin address. So there's always a new address, which helps with privacy, but it also makes it difficult for tax software as you're going to have hundreds of Bitcoin addresses. But there is a way around this. What we'll start with doing is adding a new account. And this time we're going to choose Bitcoin. Then then connect wallet. 
and there's a guide here that we can follow, which basically explains that we need to locate our XPub address, which will give access to our transactions, again in read-only. And within our accounts, if you locate your Bitcoin account, and then choose settings from the right-hand side of the page, and advanced. Underneath here, you're going to find your XPub address, which you'll need to copy. And you only need to copy it from where it starts with XPub and then ends with a character. You don't need to have the speech or quotation marks. So just copy that and paste that over on CoinLedger. And then when you're ready, connect your wallet. And it can now get all your deposits and your withdrawals from your Bitcoin address. Just remember that when you transfer crypto from one place to another, you don't get taxed on it. So it is important to integrate all these different accounts so that they understand that it's not buys and sells. And it's in your best interest to go through your transactions just to make sure they're properly categorized. Before we move on to the tax reports, I'm going to show you the portfolio tab, which then provides a list of your assets, the market value, and there's also tax activity by year, which will break out your gains and income. Let's move on to tax reports now from the top of the page. This shows your capital gains for the current tax year, and any breakdowns are starred out because you're going to need to upgrade to unlock these as well as the reports. So over on the right hand side of the screen, it shows my plan will need an upgrade, and I'm currently using 81 out of 100 transactions on this plan. When we click on upgrade, it then comes up with some pricing plans, which are all based on the number of transactions. For 100 transactions, you're looking at 49.99, and you can rerun your reports at any time. As I said, when you use our link and the discount code CryptoTax10, you're going to also get some discounts off the plans too. You can also choose to have an expert review, who will go through everything for you and highlight any issues. Then underneath it provides you with everything that's included in the actual report, such as your short and long-term capital gains report, cryptocurrency income report, audit trail tax loss harvest report to help you offset and reduce your capital gains tax. Plus, you can download a CSV file that you can upload directly to TurboTax or Tax Act. And CoinLedger automatically applies the right tax treatment based on your country's regulations, whether or not you're in the US, UK, Canada or other supportive regions. Once you've downloaded your report, you then have a few different options for filing. As we mentioned, if you're using TurboTax or Tax Act, you simply upload your CoinLedger generator file and it will automatically populate your crypto tax details within the software. If you're filing manually, review your report and enter the capital gains, losses and income amounts into your tax return form. The report provides a detailed breakdown so it does make it easy to fill in the necessary sections. If you prefer professional help, you can send your PDF tax return to your accountant and since CoinLedger organises everything clearly, your accountant can quickly review and file your taxes. And if you ever realise you've made a mistake or you need to update your transactions, you can always go back to CoinLedger, adjust your data and regenerate your tax report. And you obviously don't have to pay for that again, you can generate new reports as you need them for the tax year. And that's it. You've now successfully imported your crypto transactions, generated your tax report and learned how to file it. If you haven't signed up, don't forget to use my discount link in the description to get 10% off your tax report. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you never miss a tutorial.